Good afternoon, friends. This is Sergey Kromchenko, and today we're going to discuss SSH. A lot of you have been added to repositories as contributors. A lot of you have been creating your own repositories in a GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or any other repos, and you want to connect to it through the SSH, especially with the GitHub, because they have recently dropped support of the HTTPS or user, uh, username slash password as you know about it. So how do we do that and why do we need it? Well, whenever you want to pull repository or whenever you want to push your code to some repository, you need to be authenticated to it. Pretty much you need to be logged in somehow to let GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket know that you are exactly that user that has access to the private repository. So how do you do that? SSH is the way to do it. SSH key pretty much allows you to be authenticated to the remote repository so you could push and pull code to it. But before we get straight into it, don't forget to give me that big fat thumb up, subscribe to our channel below and join our Instagram and Telegram communities that you can find links in the description below. Situation number one, someone have added you to a GitHub repository and you want to clone it. As always, you navigate here, you click on SSH, click here to copy the URL, then you navigate to your Visual Studio code, type in get clone, command V to paste it and hit enter. And what do you see? Permission denied, public key. Please make sure you have the correct access rights. Exactly, you do not have SSH set up. So let's follow up an instruction. Step number one, let's Google GitHub generate SSH key right there and click on the first link. When you click on the first link, you, you, will, you will open up a docs.github.com URL uh, on the page and then you will see the following instruction. So open your terminal and paste the following command. And when you copy this command and paste it into your terminal, please make sure to update URL to the URL, I'm sorry, please make sure to update your email address to the email address that you have used at, at your GitHub account, at your github.com account, which in my case was, let me see, profile emails. My email was kademify at yahoo.com. So I'm going to go ahead, come back to the VS code, paste my email address, and then hit enter. So what this is going to do, it's going to generate a public and a private key. By the way, it asks you to enter which to uh, enter the file name, which to save the key. Just hit enter, that's the default option, and that should be way enough. The second question would be enter your phrase. So they're asking you to enter the passphrase. I'm going to hit enter because there is no there is no passphrase needed. I'm going to hit enter again, and finally, this is done. We have created an SSH key for the for the email above. Okay, I'm going to switch back to an instruction and see what is the next step. So step two generated, and then we scroll down adding your SSH key to your SSH agent. We do not really need that. What we need is to click on add a new SSH key on the left side, scroll down just a little bit and copy this command. Whenever you copy this command, please make sure not to copy dollar sign because it simply means we need to run it in a terminal. So I'm going to switch back to VS code, paste the command and hit enter. After you, run, after you run this command, your public key should have been copied into your clipboard, which means if you will run command V anywhere, you will paste your public key. But let's come back to the browser and follow our instruction. So step number two, we need to navigate to the browser, click on the GitHub icon, and then click on settings. Let's go ahead and do that. Click here, click settings, Okay, next step. And then we need to, in access section of the sidebar, click on SSH and then click new SSH key. So there should be, we're gonna scroll down. 
I let's see. They have mentioned access section, access, okay, SSH and GPG keys. Perfect. Click here. I'm going to remove an old one. You do not have it. This is just a testing one. So you will see a screen that looks like this. And you will need to click on new SSH key. Then call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it uh, local, local key. And then I'm going to paste it right here. You can see my SSH key. I'm going to remove it after this call. So that, that's why I can show it to you. So you will not be able to use it in the future. Okay. After you have pasted your code, click on add SSH key. Awesome. Now you can see that your key was added. And now we can come back to VS Code and run our git clone command again, which is right here. I'm going to clear it first and then going to run git clone. And now, as you can see, we have successfully cloned the project Sergi. So now I'm going to run ls and you will see Sergi. So I can open it and do whatever I want with it. This means that your local account now has an SSH key which is connected to your to your GitHub account. So at this point, any uh, any of the repositories you have access to, like I can see on the left side, you will be able to work with through your local. You can clone them, you can clone them, you can make changes, and you can push changes changes if needed. Now, let me talk a little, little bit more about SSH in depth. So where do your keys get stored and what do you do if something is messed up? Well, at the beginning, we were at web projects folder. So I'm going to run ls. And you can see that we have we did clone Sergi, right? But what if I run ls minus la? So this command will show you also hidden files. In this folder, we do not have any hidden files, but we do uh, but we do have hidden SSH file in the root directory. And in order to find it, let's type in cd and hit enter. Now we're in the root directory. So now let's type in ls space minus la. And when we hit this and we scroll up, you will see that there is an, a dot SSH folder. Let's go ahead and open it. cd dot SSH. Now let's run ls and you can see your public key right here. That's the one that you have connected through with your GitHub uh, remote GitHub account. With, uh, on a github.com so if you ever have an issue and you want to remove it what you could do simply if you want to start completely from scratch you navigate to your root directory run ls minus la to make sure that you do have the dot ssh folder and then let's scroll down and type in rm minus rf dot ssh and what this did it just removed that SSH folder. So now if I run ls minus la, you see no more dot SSH folder right here. And what does it mean? This means that if we navigate back to our folder, if we remove Sergi folder, and then we try to clone it again by running the same command, git clone, and then we paste it. You're gonna, and then we say yes. You're gonna see that we're getting same error. That there is no public key. You have no access rights. And then what we could do, we could go back exactly to the same place where we came from, and we could start from scratch. Also, don't forget to remove your old SSH key since it was already removed from your local. Now we can navigate back and start all the way from the beginning. Now you know how to deal with the SSH and what is SSH used for. And finally, you know how to install or remove SSH keys from your computer. It is as easy as that. Thank you for your time, guys. Don't forget to give me the big fat thumb up. Subscribe to our channel below and join our communities on Instagram and Telegram. Links to which you can find in the description below as well. I'll see you next time.